First of all, cheers to Jeff Hanneman because the reason why we're here today at Doves in Brooklyn, the reason why Slayer decided to pull out a fucking amazing record entitled Repentless is because of Jeff Hanneman. So cheers, Jeff. We miss you. I'm pretty sure that he's up there with Dime, with Peter Steele, with Jimi Hendrix, with all the metal crew up there celebrating the release of the new album. From front to back, it is a Slayer album. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. The new Slayer album is a badass album produced by Terry Day. Right now, up here, they're blasting this here at Doves, the heavy metal mecca. We're gonna go talk to some fans, see what stories they have regarding Slayer, because you know what? Everybody has their own unique Slayer story, and that's what makes Slayer such a legendary band. That to each person, it means something different. So, instead of you, Reading what your friend said and saying, yeah, the new Slayer sucks, this and that, you know what, listen to the album, buy it, purchase it, support it, you know what, because without Slayer, heavy metal is not going to be the same, so cheers to Slayer for making the very, very ball-driven decision to carry on without Hanneman, and of course, to Jeff Hanneman, we miss you, brother, this one's for you, let's go party here at Dust in memory of Jeff Hanneman and celebrating the release of the new Slayer album, Repent Less. <laughs> tracks they put out and I like it so far. I mean it sounds like Slayer. Right? You know, it's what, a Slayer album. What can people want, you know? Everybody's, uh, yeah, they're never gonna write another Rain and Blood. Maybe it's some miracle they will, but they're never gonna write another one that iconic because they established themselves with that record. But they still put out fucking good records, man. I was honestly expecting like a little bit of like not the old not the same Slayer as I used to hear. But this one was pretty. This one was pretty good. And like, I'm I'm glad it proved me wrong. I love this record. It's really good production. It's really cool to hear it here on the speakers and hanging out at Duff's and hearing it with all my friends. It's pretty cool. New album's fucking incredible, man. I got to hear a couple songs live earlier this year with King Diamond on the Man Festival. That was really good. Um, you know, hopefully they do a solo tour. That'd be nice. But. Um, Whatever, man. They're, they're great. I fucking love Slayer, dude. And what do you think about them carrying on without Jeff Hanneman? That's their decision. You know, it's, I'm not a guy, you know, I saw Slayer, their first show ever in New York City. You know, I, we were like, I remember going uh, to New Jersey, no, Long Island, the Rio Theater. It was Slayer, Overkill, and, uh, and some band called Tanaka. They were like, kind of like a want to be maiden but more like poison but anyway <laughs> there's like 250 300 people at that show and then the next year you couldn't get near the clubs to see slayer they were you know so i've seen them and you know what we're friends with tom and he's a great guy and if he still wants to do it let him do it what's he gonna do he's gonna retire he's gonna become a school teacher what the fuck <laughs> guy screams for slayer that's what he does and, you know, and it's unfortunate that Jeff passed away. He wrote a lot of my favorite songs. You know, my favorite Slayer songs were written by him. And uh, But if the band, from what I've heard, I haven't heard the whole record, but what I've heard, they did a good job, you know. As long as it's legitimate and sounds good, then it's cool. Claro que sí, claro que sí. Yo pienso que para mí esa banda es una de las bandas que tiene que seguir hasta que ya los músicos no puedan tocar. You know, Gary Holt? I think it's, it's, a, it's a good replacement for Jeff Hanneman because both bands are uh, old school and Gary Holt uh, played in, uh, still plays in Exodus. I think it was a good choice. Yeah. My favorite Slayer memory, when I was younger in my old tribute band, we, we did a medley that went Bon Jovi into Slayer. And the weird shit was, when we played the Jovi, all the ladies lined up there getting close to the crowd. And then we broke into Angel of Death and a mosh pit opened up and everyone was like, what the fuck? You know, that's why I like Slayer. It's just got that, that magic to it, man. It's a real fucking shit. When Seasons in the Abyss came out, they were on tour and they played at this club called Sundance in Long Island. Sundance had all of the great shows at that time. And I bought tickets in advance to the show and 
the club sold probably 200 more tickets than could fit in the place. You know, they oversold it. Maybe even more than that. I'm not sure what the exact number was. So the fire department came and they told the club that if they let any more people in, they were going to close it down. I didn't know this at the time. I saw the fire department there and I didn't know what was going on. So I had my tickets with me and I went to the door and they stopped me and they said, you couldn't come in. And I said, why not? And they said, you know, we sold too many tickets and we can't let you in. You know, I was with a couple of friends and they were pissed. And they were like, are we going to go home now? I said, no, I know exactly what to do. Follow me. We went to the back of the club and I said, just wait here. I was sure that as soon as Slayer was starting to play, people were going to get thrown out. And sure enough, they started to play. The doors flew open, two big bounces threw a bunch of guys out. We ran in, and we got to see the show after all. So it ended up being pretty cool. I saw Slayer in Big Four. And again, chaos. People going over barricades, stomping all over bodyguards and shit, just to get to the main area, start a pit. Bodyguards can't do nothing about it. <laughs> and then the atmosphere of like Slayer and like Yankee Stadium and shit. And you look back and you see like the whole crowd and shit. It's crazy. My favorite would definitely be the first time I ever came to Duff's, and that would be for the 2010 release of World Pain of Blood. First time I ever came here, fucking place blew my mind, so did the album. And I've probably seen him a dozen times since. And it, Slayer is the metal band. That's it. When it comes to thrash, whatever they are, one of the biggest influences ever in metal. Did I ever get hurt? Um, let me see. Yes! My eye, right over here. I was like bleeding like crazy. But it was worth it. Worth it. That night was a crazy night. Cuando se siente esa emoción, la energía de la gente y el respeto que hay entre las mismas personas que siguen esta year. One time when Slayer played, I don't remember when the show was, you know, everyone yells out Slayer before or after the show, and there was this kid outside who was yelling, Slayer, Slayer, as loud as he could, and he balled up his fist in front of his face, and he was punching himself in the face every time he yelled out Slayer, and he did it like 10 times, until like he almost passed out. <laughs>